Hi there. In this topic video uh, for year one macroeconomics, we're going to take a little look at the changing basket of goods and services used to calculate the consumer price index. Now, the uh, consumer price index, of course, is the main measure of inflation in the UK. It's designed to be a representative basket of goods and services, uh, reflecting the importance of different items of spending by households in the UK economy. The basket is pretty big. In fact, it's huge. Uh, it's bigger than the basket I normally use. There's over 700 different goods and services, <clears throat> and uh, they they change over time, as we'll see. And every month, uh, people take uh, the people working for the ONS take over 100,000 bits of price information from over 520 items, and of course, a lot of information on prices and things is now collected online as well. So the consumer price index is a vast bit of data really interesting what lies beneath it. Uh, it's the key measure of inflation in the UK. So the, the shopping baskets uh, are reviewed every year. What the items that actually go into the calculation are considered uh, and uh, some items in given years are taken out of the calculation, some are brought in. And the idea is to try and make the basket reasonably up to speed, up to date with changing tastes and changing technologies, crucially changing spending patterns in the economy. So, in 2015 and 2016, certain items, goods and services, came into the CPI for the first time. E-cigarettes, those of you who are vapors, the price of uh, vaping products is now in the CPI. Those of you who love a cool craft beer, such as Brewdog, my particular favourite, craft beer is now inside the CPI. Not just because production has increased, the scale of the craft beer industry has grown, there are many more craft beer pubs, and uh, online sales are also quite important for these craft, craft beer producers. Nespresso fans, coffee pods are now inside the CPI. And those of you who like uh, an Uncle Ben's at night, instead of instead of boiling some rice, you put a put a microwave pouch of rice in the microwave, and an hour and a half later, out it comes, ready to eat. Instead of people buying computer games, computer game downloads are now including the CPI. And fascinatingly, women's leggings. Women's leggings are now in the CPI. Now, why is this, you might think? Well, we might take a few seconds to ponder this. Is it because there are more women in work? The employment rate amongst females has, has increased. Is it because people are that work uh, standards and dress standards and things at work have become more less less formal, more flexible? There are certainly many more uh, women going to gyms and, uh, and going to spin classes and cycle classes. They might be wearing leggings in gyms. Fashions change. Uh, and the CPI changes with it. Nail varnish, nail varnish has also increased, uh, as has protein powders. Those of you who are gym animals, probably buying your protein shakes and your powders. And of course, instead of people buying music, physical music, although vinyl sales have gone up, uh, music streaming services such as Spotify are now included in the CPI. So these inclusions represent uh, the shift in spending towards particular goods and services delivered in a particular way. Some things go in, of course, some things go out. So my, these are the items that have been taken out of the CPI basket since uh, 2015. Cooked sliced turkey is out, presumably because people prefer to cook their own turkey. Uh, prescription contact lenses are out. Maybe that reflects the increase in the demand for laser eye surgery and uh, people just going into you know retail shops and buying contact lenses without without a need for a prescription. Gloss paint is out. Mm, gloss paint. Now people, a lot of people now are not using gloss when they're decorating homes. They're just matting or or using emulsion instead of gloss paint. Probably because it takes about three years to dry. I'll come to nightclubs in a second. CD-ROMs are out. Well, clearly, and rewritable DVDs. People can just save items to Dropbox. And they can. They can share files in many, many different ways. Sat navs are out, of course, uh, 10 years ago. They were the must have item. Now, many vehicles come already pre installed with sat navs. And people are using their phones. They don't necessarily need to use a special sat nav. And what about, what about nightclub entry? Nightclub entry is now outside of the CPI. Why is this? Well, many reasons. One is the growth of home entertainment particularly the likes of Netflix, so people are staying late at night and watching films that are going to clubs. Secondly, of course, pubs have longer opening hours these days. That's affected the demand for nightclub places. A lot of nightclubs have closed. Uh, and crucially, many nightclubs now offer free entry. 
they make their money on the drink and oftentimes the food available. So because many nightclubs are now free to enter, then there's no price information to collect necessarily. There's less need for nightclubs to be in the CPI. I think the main reason why nightclubs have dropped out of the CPI is because I've stopped going. Here are the weights for the CPI in 2016. I put in red here a couple of notable ones. So basic housing costs, you know, the water bill, the gas bill, uh, the other utility bills, they're the biggest single item in the CPI. Over a quarter of the index is in that category. Transport also important, rail fares, bus fares, petrol prices, that kind of stuff. Air fares, transport costs important. And you can see that the, the weightings range from 266 down to, to 21, the education costs, which I guess will include, I think about school fees, tuition fees. So those are the weights in the CPI, and they throw all the data into a machine, and every month the annual rate of inflation comes out. Uh, March 2016, the inflation rate was 0.5%, below the 2% inflation target that it has been for some time. Uh, the key point, of course, that this is the increase in the general price level as measured by the CPI over the preceding 12 months. So price changes in February 2015 drop out of the calculation of inflation when we get to March 2016. So that's been a little look at the CPI basket, the basket of goods and services used to produce the inflation rate.